Hi, Leo. I hope you guys are enjoying your day so far. Okay, hope you're doing well. So let's see what's going on with you guys, Leo. <clears throat> Thank you all for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, um, Leo. I am sending all that love and light back to you and your loved ones tenfold, okay? So let's see what's going on here for my Leo spirit, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Leo and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones will turn it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Leos. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Leo. All right, Leo. Let's see. So we have married man here, dangerous karmic ties. So this person, this, there's a married man here that could be married to someone dangerous, to a dangerous karmic. Okay, so let's see, I don't know. What's going on here for Leo? Okay, so we have judgment in the reverse. So that's like a judgment card to me. I mean, something could be going left in court with this gavel here. You could be dealing with a Libra. Okay, the judgment card though is Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Maybe somebody's on a Libra, Scorpio, cuz. So this could mean a lot of things, shit. Somebody here could be judging you harshly or this could be somebody's judgment is off. There's a lack of self-awareness or self-doubt here with the judgment in the reverse. Let's see, or somebody's trying to avoid judgment. Yeah, Psycho. It was judgment in the reverse with psycho. People pleasing. So somebody's awareness, somebody has a lack of awareness here about a psychotic person that they're with or whatever. I feel like somebody here really just doesn't want to look a certain way. So they will stay in something even if it's dangerous or not good. Somebody knows that they're with somebody here crazy, but they don't want to have to deal with what comes after it or trying to leave it. Or so maybe, I don't know, maybe this is like abuse that somebody is uh, tolerating or whatever. I don't know, but what's psycho here? Somebody here doesn't want to be seen as a people pleaser or they don't want to be seen as somebody that has um, psychological issues. <clears throat> what's this psycho? Okay, yeah, Diva. So we got Aries here with Mariah Carey. So you could be speaking up about this. You could be calling somebody a damn psycho. So if somebody could feel judged by you, or you're speak, you're you're saying that somebody is crazy, but somebody else's awareness is off about it. They're not getting it. What psycho with Diva? I feel like somebody getting ready to let the, let them take their ass up out of here, like. Yeah, so we have a prideful person. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to get a prideful person to see that they need help or somebody around them does. But they're too busy being a people pleaser. Yeah, what's people pleasing here? No love given. No love given or received. Yeah, like something is just toxic anyways. There's not reciprocal love here. There's two people maybe that don't like each other. Maybe this is you and somebody else or just somebody else in your energy. But what's people pleasing with no love given or received? Or this is like a relationship that you was in with this person. They didn't give you any love. But I feel like you showed them love though. Yeah, marijuana relax. So somebody here is using marijuana to escape something. A broken heart or some shit that they need to heal from, child. I don't know. Or somebody is like, somebody could have had a nice relationship with you, but I feel like because they weren't showing you no love, you've pulled your energy back. But somebody's like pleasing somebody else. They're doing this to make somebody else happy. That's not how they truly feel. That's not, they really don't want to like move away from you, but they feel like they have to for whatever reason. They can't make decisions on their own or whatever. Yeah, black magic, unbalanced, leveling up. Yeah, somebody here is, Doing black magic on you to cause an imbalance here. They don't want you to level up. Money spells. Self-absorbed. Receipts. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. 
What else? Background checks. This one flame. Tolerating abuse. Yeah, this is you. I feel like that's in the reverse. I feel like you've healed. You could have found your twin flame, Leo, or you could be uniting. There's a lot of divine unions coming together. Some of us were already in them. For others of you, they coming. Yeah, look, divine mass, and I can't make that shit up. And somebody here is mad. Temperamental and persuasion drugs. They're easily persuaded, whether it be by drugs or whatever the fuck, because they're empty inside. And they have, yeah, they have a porn addiction. Yeah, somebody here uses things to cope and escape drugs, alcohol, sex, whatever the fuck it is. So, yeah, I feel like somebody's doing background checks on you. They're trying to see if you're with your twin flame. I feel like you are. And you're healing. Your twin flame journey is helping you to heal. Or the, your person, you're in union with them, they're helping you heal. From this fucking abusive relationship that you have with this damn psycho that wants to be a people pleaser. So they could have listened to other people about you, Leo. Maybe somebody laced this person's weed. They need to stop smoking. They need to stop smoking. Or maybe it's the weed getting to their head. Yeah, gossiping and talking. This is like, what the fuck? In the reverse. Yeah, single bachelor here. Upright. I feel like somebody wants to indulge in their addictions and peace. Like, so somebody could be moving away from somebody that's gossiping and talking about you. Yeah, this other woman. Or... But yeah, passive aggressive is like, yeah, nothing happened, blah, blah, blah. But no, it was like, what the fuck? Or, um, what was I going to say? This person, <clears throat> I don't know. What's gossiping and talking with single bachelor? Karmic cycle is closing. So somebody's going to stop talking about you or they're going to get rid of the person that's gossiping and talking about you, but they're not closing a karmic cycle. That's what I'm saying. Like, or somebody doesn't want something to close between you and them. But I feel like just because this person is so empty inside, they need somebody around them. Or their addictions are what's causing them to feel scatterbrained and feeling they're feeling like they can't move on from somebody that they need to move on from. Yeah, it's like something is, is enabling this person that is feeding on their is feeding their addictions. Yeah, the strength card upright with the Knight of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, I feel like this person has a strong addiction to like one night stands or sex or because the Knight of Cups is like that. Or they have a strong obsession for you or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, some sort of generational thing is here. I don't know if it's drugs, alcohol, sex, codependency, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, this is you. <clears throat> yeah, four of pentacles. Somebody cares too much about how they look. Like somebody needs to get help and they don't want to get the help. Yeah, look, four of pentacles here, six of swords in reverse, seven of swords. It's like they don't they don't want to stop doing what they're doing. For some of you, this is an addiction to you. They they have an addiction to trying to to your energy. Like they keep doing something. This I just got this here for Taurus. Go watch Taurus where somebody is being warned to stop doing something to you. Or stop doing something to a lot of people. They could be victimizing a lot of people here because I feel like somebody here is draining. Yeah, because they lazy as fuck and they do this repetitively. Look, the page of wands in reverse, knight of pentacles in reverse. First of all, this is predictable behavior. This person is very materialistic, very um superficial. They only think about money. Okay, they, they're not thinking about nothing else. And this person, they lazy. They don't have any work ethic, no ambition or drive to do anything. They want to keep stealing from other people, right? This is what they do all the time. 
this is something that's predictable. I mean, you can expect this from this person. For those of you that have been with this person already, this is what they do. The Six of Pentacles with the Empress in reverse. This person is an energy vampire. They're an energy vampire. They drain you of your energy. They block your life force. They drain you of your, your, of your vitality. Make you feel insecure. To benefit themselves financially. Like, I don't know if they're doing magic or what this is, but they do this to a lot of people. I feel like, obviously, they did it to you, okay? Or this is them continuing to try to steal from you energetically. Seven of Swords. Six of Swords in reverse and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're still holding on to something or still hiding something or still... They're still being, being very possessive or controlling or stingy or greedy. Six of Swords in reverse is them trying to run away from their damn consequences of their actions or this is them trying to come back because they're still holding on to you. They're trying to return. Or this is them. They're stuck. They don't know how to get themselves out of something. They feel trapped. So this is what they ask getting ready to fucking do. Or try to find somebody to do it to. Stealing. Lying. Taking shit. Or whatever this is. Yeah. So this is what they normally do. And I feel like spirit is not playing with their ass. No more. Enough is enough. So what? Yeah. Justice in reverse. And the damn light of souls in reverse. They ask getting ready to go to jail. They do this shit again, they're going to jail, period. Whether it be something in the physical or in the damn spiritual realm or both. They can go to jail in both places. What's this judgment in the reverse? With this uh, psycho and diva and prideful person and blah, blah, blah. No love, giving or receive, people pleasing, marijuana, whatever. What is this? Somebody, somebody has like an addictive personality. They get addicted to shit easily or... You know, things like that. Ten of swords in reverse. <clears throat> yeah. So I feel like some sort of curse here is broken off of you, Leo. Or you've overcame the slander, the betrayal, the gossip, the bullshit. Or you're just ignoring it. It could still be going on, but you're just like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, you don't give a fuck. It's not affecting you, so. But the ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're you're moving forward. You're moving out of a stalemate. Or you're getting ready to seize an opportunity. Yeah, because I feel like you're getting ready to start a family. Or this... Excuse me, you guys could be saying 1010. 10. This could be you feeling happy, blissful, joyful, and you're whole, you're complete within yourself. So, yeah, this damn emperor in the damn reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. This Queen of Swords in reverse could be enabling this, this person, yeah, to do something sexual. Or... Somebody just giving someone the wrong advice because they're preying on this person's weaknesses. This is like ridiculous. <laughs> what's this? What's this judgment in the reverse with this ten of swords reverse? <sighs> yeah, the seven of cups. So yeah, there's some illusion here, or fantasizing, or daydreaming, or something like that. Somebody's like confused as to how you're over something or how something is not working or how you broke away or broke free or something or whatever. Hmm. This could be something bad coming for somebody. The worst could be yet to come for someone. Yeah, this damn emperor in reverse. What else? What's the ten of swords in the reverse? Yeah, the justice in reverse. Oh, okay. Libra energy. So somebody here is getting bad karma for something that they did. Whoever this is, they just don't. They refuse to take accountability for their actions. They don't want to. They feel like it's unfair that they have to do that and you can do whatever the fuck you want. This person needs to get over themselves. I'm sick of hearing about their ass. And I, you know, really, I'm honestly starting to not feel sorry. Motherfuckers, we all had some addictions, whether it be sex, drugs, alcohol. We all been codependent on something or someone before. Bitch, heal it. <laughs> like, I mean, if it ain't, it ain't nothing really that's going to be that easy. Life is life. What the fuck? But you got to do it, though. Somebody here is, like, childish. They're childish. I feel like they mama, somebody got mommy issues or they got daddy issues. Like, they mama is raggedy like that. What the fuck? I'm sick of hearing about this person. And they weird-ass fucking ways. It's like, bitch, get over it. Heal it. Grow the fuck up. <laughs> like, for real. Because this shit keep coming out about this person. It's like, bro, do what you need to do, man. Do what the fuck you need to do. Like, for real. So, the justice in reverse. 
yeah, like uh, somebody here getting bad karma while you're over here healing and you've overcome something. You overcome, you overcame whatever the fuck they did to you. So, I mean, whoever else they're doing it to is really fucking sad. And hopefully they get away too. But I'm just saying though, what's the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Justice in the reverse? Libra energy. We got Gemini right there. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Somebody here could be in legal trouble here. They got a lawyer up or something. <clears throat> or they might as well get ready to if they keep on doing this dumb shit. But the worst is yet to come for somebody. Somebody here is in a bind. They need to get out of something and they can't figure out how to do it. They can't make their own decisions. They're not doing what the fuck they're being called to do to get themselves out of something. Somebody could be in court or they already getting fucked up or something like that. Spiritual or on the physical. And they're confused about how to get out of something. They normally would siphon from you to get themselves out of something. And it's not working because you've healed. There's no portal or anything that, like that that they can access. Yeah, like, let me write something down. All right. Yeah, like. <clears throat> there could be up to three people here getting bad karma. Or karma is coming for these people that they work with. But I'm getting with the three of pentacles. This could be you, Leo, where you've learned from your past mistakes. I feel like you, you could be in a new partnership here. Okay, or you could be collaborating or partnering with other people that you that spirit wants you to partner with. Yeah, you've been broken free from this this narcissist. You're done with them. So they're in trouble. I feel like that's on they dumb ass. They ain't got shit to do with you. And if they're in trouble for doing some shit to you, I feel like, okay. <laughs> like it, it is what it is. So let, let's see. What's the uh what's the seven of cups? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody is stressed out. They're burning their way down. Or they trying to just put all their mess and their dead weight onto you. They, they don't want to do it. They, they want to give you their karma so they can take your good karma and do what with it? Ruin it? Or, 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 or fumble everything like they normally do? Like, somebody needs to grow up. Like, for real. They don't know what to do with good karma. They go and fuck it up because they need to heal. They don't want to heal. So, they, they problems and their addictions is going to get in the way of everything that they've built. And I feel like that's what it is. But I feel like they... They somebody here built something on a faulty foundation anyway. It was gonna fall apart to regardless because of how they got it. Somebody's just used to doing criminal shit. They need to get their life together. Whoever the fuck this is. What's this seven of cups, ten of wands? Sagittarius Saturn. Yeah, I feel like spiritually this person is just so fucking distorted they can't see they left from their damn right they don't know which way to go i feel like this person's crown and their third eye chakra is blocked they don't know how to get out of something what's seven of cups with the ten of wands yeah look will of fortune in reverse somebody is weighed down by some really bad karma and this is you this person is mad as fuck that you're with this person whoever this is that you're in love with there's a connection here that's very strong and powerful this is where all your energy is going with that ace of wands upright they can no longer siphon and pull from your energy they got to carry around their own dead weight their own karma somebody's like swapping destinies basically they try to give you their shit and block everything for you while they take your shit and build off of it or try to like use it to build their life up like now it's reversing because that's not how it's gonna go yeah, like somebody here really like, and then they spying something that they normally do. Page of Wands in reverse. They spy and they go watch and see what the fuck they can do to try to get themselves out of a bind. This person here is a fucking loser. And wherever the fuck they go, they deserve to be there. Hell or jail or wherever the fuck they deserve to be over there. So I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, what's three of pentacles? 
Yeah, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you got yourself un unbinded from something. You're no longer binded to somebody. This is you overcoming some sort of two psychological abuse and manipulation or whatever this is you had to heal within yourself because they were taking advantage of your weak points. So, I mean, that shit is that shit is over with. It's done. You're growing. You've moved forward. Now something is out of whack or out of balance for they slow ass because they don't have no damn self-discipline. The tower with the with the chariot. Somebody here could have gotten a car, got into a car accident, or whatever. <clears throat> but they don't have no damn self discipline here. Love won over hate, and now the tower is coming. This person let love win over hate, or they chose something else over you, or whatever the fuck they did. Now they're blocked, and somebody too is trying to do something very forcefully or aggressively with the chariot in the reverse. The tower is hitting. Divine intervention is coming in because it's it's a no. <laughs> like you're this person here really think that you finna be their saving grace after they didn't stole from you and did all this dumb shit to you like that's crazy to me somebody is selfish and they deserve whatever the fuck they're going through just fucking period i'm tired of i ain't feeling no remorse or no sympathy for no motherfucking body that didn't sat up here and did all this shit and then they want to still do it they're still doing it like bitch what i don't give a fuck we don't, look whatever you're going through go through it get through it hopefully you get through it bitch so okay so yeah maybe somebody here could be out on bail too or bond or something like that but they got to go to trial for something so they going back or whatever this is for some of you somebody got somebody could be going to jail for three years somebody here got eight weeks to to be out to get their shit together or something like that before they go into jail or, or, or something i don't know but i don't know they know what's coming for their ass Somebody here too could be not feeling well, they're sick. This ain't the worst that's getting right happen to this person either. With all this shit right here with the Ten of Swords in reverse, yeah, you've overcame something and broken free. But I feel like with the Ten of Swords in reverse, Seven of Cups, Justice, this person got worse shit coming. This ain't even the end of it. You guys can be seeing Ten Ten, or there's three Tens here. The Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. So I don't know, but it sounds like yeah, somebody here could even have like a crooked lawyer or a crooked, uh, they're working with somebody that know how to get them off cases and shit like that. I feel like, you know, I feel like that bitch going down to trying for trying to help this damn criminal. So anyways, what's, um, what's this background check with twin flame and tolerating abuse in the reverse? Yeah, the lovers in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like there's a disconnect between, there's a disunion between you and someone else. That cord is cut. They can't use you for shit. It's like at all. The lovers in reverse could talk about two trust issues or somebody not taking a damn accountability. Whoever this is you disconnected from is not taking accountability. Ain't no twin flame doing this. So we can scratch that out. That's already easy to tell. Ain't no damn twin flame going to be doing this. This is the fallen twins do this. The people that have came into this lifetime to destroy you in a past life, those fallen twins, because I have a fallen twin. My ex is a fallen twin. But in this lifetime, you actually have a real twin flame. So if your story is like that, then cool. But ain't no real twin. Ain't nobody that you destined to be with going to be doing this. So your fallen twin is acting like a damn fool. They didn't turn karmic. They fell from grace. So yeah, and this is you going into a new connection with your twin, your actual one. And this fallen twin is mad about it. But I feel like they don't have no room to be mad or upset or any of that. I just feel like they need to get their life together. And they keep on trying to use you to do it. But your connection is not with them no more. You, you've healed. You've disconnected. You're done. So what's background check with Twin Flame and tolerating abuse? I feel like they abused you. They did you dirty. So I feel like, you know, yeah, the Four of Cups. So yeah, somebody's at a stalemate. They're stuck or they missed some sort of opportunity. Or they're sitting here whining and shit. Oh, woe is me. Shit always happens to me, me, me. Bitch. Somebody here could be stuck because they're breaking up with whoever the fuck they were with. This lovers in reverse is disharmony. It's it's a disunion. Or just somebody's like wondering why the fuck they so stuck and st at a stalemate. It's because they need to take accountability for something. They ass gonna keep getting fucked up until they do the right thing. They're not doing the right thing. Like, what's the lovers in the reverse? The moon reverse? <clears throat> yeah, so the moon in reverse is moving away from fear, anxiety, worry. Like, you're really healing your subconscious. Yeah, I feel like somebody too is delusional. This could be self-delusion. Uh, self 
I don't know what's wrong with this person. <laughs> like they, they do too much. They smoke too much. They drink too much. They fuck too much. I don't know. Something got this person mind clouded. But what's the love is reverse, moon reverse. Cancer Pisces. Somebody intuition could be blocked. Yeah. Okay, yeah, the six of wands. So something could be being revealed in a public eye about a lover's connection. That's it's it's a breakup. There's a disconnect or something. Or this is just you feeling happy confident successful you're victorious or you're finally receiving the recognition you deserve for whatever this is you're doing you could be in the public eye doing something for some of you or this is just your self-esteem and your confidence being raised okay and you're moving away from anything that was causing you fear and anxiety somebody here was trying to keep you stuck or trapped in a mental prison or keep you silenced or keep you victimized and you you, you survived it you you moved on so yeah, like, what's the Four of Cups? The Two of Swords, Libra Moon. Yeah, somebody's at a stalemate. They're stuck or somebody's, like, emotionally closed off. They refuse to, like, I don't know. <laughs> what's the Four of Swords with the Two of Swords? The Four of Pentacles. Mm, yeah, Capricorn, Sun. <laughs> So I feel like, yeah, somebody is complacent or they're penny pinching with the Four of Pentacles. Somebody here is confused. They don't know what to do. Two of Swords. You guys could be seeing 444. Or this person could be holding on to you or hiding some things and they're trying to figure out if they should reveal it or not or whatever. I feel like somebody is still greedy. They're still manipulative. They're still possessive. That's what I'm saying. Like... Or for some of you, this person here then then started something with a dark witch, or they work with a dark witch here in a in a in a community. What's this two of swords, man? Yeah, the ace of wands. Yeah, somebody is blocked because this is your energy here. The ace of wands is a creative spark, a passion, desire, chemistry, or somebody like I said could be. Or did I who I say this for? Taurus. Yeah, go watch Taurus. Somebody's like masturbating to you or trying to do some sort of magic here. But I feel like um, there's a new beginning for you. What's the two of swords with the ace of wands? Yeah, the devil. Exactly. The devil with the ace of wands. Somebody's like obsessed with your energy. Yeah, the two of cups. Somebody's like obsessed with sex or whatever. Because this, this, this ace of wands is a male follicle, just period. Somebody keep on masturbating to you or doing something to you to drain your energy your life force or something like that it's something that they're doing to get access to your sacral chakra or whatever the fuck this is somebody here has a sex addiction like i feel like this person here is just they really are disgusting like i'd I be really over this this energy with this person I'm like for real. What's the ace of wands with the devil? The death card. So yeah, Scorpio energy. So this could be a death and a rebirth, a transformation here. Yeah, I feel like you're you're going through some sort of purging or cleansing is what I'm getting, Leo. And this person is still right. Like they still obsessed. They still this, they still that. And they're blocked. And this person here is stuck. They can't get anything because you're going through a death or a rebirth. This sex addiction or whatever this dumb shit is that somebody got going on, they're going to have to deal with that shit them damn selves. They're really going to have to deal with that shit them damn selves. What's the four of pentacles? Yeah, the Six of Cups in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, and the Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody here has a rose-tinted view or rose-colored glasses on about this dark wish that they're with. 
this is unwanted attention from a family member or a community or somebody that they're false twin the high priestess in reverse with the four of wands in reverse six of cups in reverse trigger warning is child abuse somebody here has a long i just heard a long history of abuse For some of you, this is a karmic contract that's over between you and this devil energy. This karmic contract is over. This high priestess could have been you where um, whatever this person was doing to you was causing uh, you to doubt your intuition a lot or putting self-doubt in you. Okay. Yeah. They could have been like had your intuition blocked at one point or whatever this is because they were siphoning your damn energy. Like I said, they were doing something to confuse you or block you. Mm -hmm. Six of Cups in Reverse. Is rose sent to view of the past? Or this is you. Whoever this is, they just won't let you go here. This person, they just won't release you. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's like still holding on to you, still trying to fuck with your subconscious, still trying to block your intuition. This contract is over with this person, though. I feel like, though, um, somebody could have a dark witch in their family. Maybe it's their mother or whoever they started a family with is a dark witch. Somebody is, there's chaos and shit going on in their home. It's all social shit going on in their home. And this bitch right here is holding on to them for dear life, but they're trying to escape and they're using a coping mechanism, which is masturbating or sex or something like that to try to escape. And they're trying to use you to escape because they're obsessed with you and your energy, but it's blocked. <laughs> It's locked. Yeah, look, they don't have no vitality, nothing. Shrimp car reverse, emperor reverse, empress in the damn reverse. Yeah, this is them. So I'm getting this high priestess actually could have been you where you were um like something about your past life here, Leo. You were sacrificing the past life. Four wands in reverse too. Something could be going on with your root chakra where you where you like you have a hard time opening up or trusting or feeling safe. There's four wands in reverse is insecurities. Somebody is putting insecurities in you and causing you to doubt you feeling safe. So they're trying to cause chaos in your home or in your union or whatever they say. I feel like this is clearing out though. Something is clearing out about this. Because this person, this is what they do all the fucking time. If you notice, every time you get in a relationship or every time you do something, here come that same mindset or that same thought, that same thing comes back up every time something good comes into your life. It's this person. Your actual fallen twin. They have one too or something like that. They're falling in this lifetime though. They karmic as fuck. But this is your fallen twin. And I feel like they got with a fallen ass bitch too. So definitely, I feel like this is deeply past life related. But... <clears throat> It's like they try to make every bitch that they get with be you. They try to turn them into you. I feel like somebody's delusional. <laughs> it's like this person is psychotic. Now I feel like you calling their ass out with the with the diva card and she on this microphone and the psycho right here. Somebody here is getting their ass called out. And so is this raggedy ass ratchet little bitch. I'm sick of this hoe. This is somebody here that specializes in dark magic. They play in dark arts. This Queen of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Cups, they know how to do whatever this fuck this is. They know how to do whatever this is that they're doing with this fucking magic. What's this damn gossiping talking with single bachelor? Gossiping talking in the reverse with single bachelor and karmic cycle is closing in the reverse. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Mars, and the Empress in the reverse. So there's a lot of nervousness here. There's a lot of anxiety or fear. Somebody is fearing what? That they were the false person with this Empress in the reverse? Because they are. Somebody nervous because they got somebody pregnant. Okay, or this is unexpected or unwanted or whatever. Or this empress in reverse is nervous because they, they don't want this pregnancy by this single bachelor or whatever this is. Maybe they can't seem to get away from this person. Yeah, look. The three of cups and the knight of swords. They, these people have some sort of parties or gatherings and shit like that. When it comes down to trying to hurt and attack you, this is what this person does to gain or to get themselves out of some sort of bind. With the five of pentacles in reverse, they attack other people. 
the the knight of swords in reverse is leading people to danger this is someone too that's a follower somebody here just I, this person is pathetic i can't believe people really be like this i don't i really don't know but or i do know but you know what's the nine of swords <laughs> what's nine of swords yeah the three of swords in reverse what's nine of swords three of swords reverse the king of swords in reverse yeah this fucking liar it could be gemini libra aquarius masculine whatever the fuck but somebody is definitely very fucking scatterbrained they're holding on to pain trauma that they don't want to heal this is them they scared of every fucking thing they always in their head somebody is just i don't know but I, yeah <clears throat> or this this queen of wands too could be getting exposed in the reverse or Something is being exposed to you about your insecurities and your weaknesses that you need to heal. What the hell is this Empress Reverse? The Ace of Cups in Reverse? What's the Empress Reverse, Ace of Cups Reverse? The Nine of Wands in reverse and the damn Temperance reverse. Sagittarius, Sag, Moon. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Wow, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> so I feel like um, the Temperance in reverse, there's a lot of chaos and drama going on here. Somebody is not able to alchemize energy either. They don't know how to transmute shit. But there's a lot of chaos and drama going on somewhere. This is somebody, too, doing something excessively. Like, somebody's, like, really stubborn, very rigid. They, they don't give a fuck. Ace of Cups in, rever in reverse is repressed trauma, repressed pain and emotions that they can't give off to this Empress in reverse because they don't have shit to fucking... Like, I don't know. For some of you, I keep... The Empress in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, there could be a miscarriage here. Trigger warning and my condolences if you went through that. Somebody's trying to find another host, another energy they can harvest, or they have one, but it's like, it's not as powerful, or it's like little shit that's happening that it's just, I don't know. Somebody's like extremely overwhelmed. Somebody could be chronically fatigued, stressed the fuck out. Like, there's just a lot of imbalances here. What's this King of Souls in reverse? Get yeah, child, look at these idiots. The Queen of Swords in Reverse. What's these two people together? Seven of Wands. Yeah, they both blocked. They both want some dumb shit. They both blocked. They're both blocked. What's the damn Queen of Swords, King of Swords, Reverse with the Seven of Wands? The Two of Wands in Reverse. Yeah, they're both restricted. They're both fucking blocked. That's just period. Good. Good for you hoes. Somebody finally realizing that the grass is green. I feel like you blocked their ass. You don't got time for that shit. The grass, of course, is always going to be greener over here, bitch. The fuck? Like, you ain't know that? I feel like somebody just, I don't know, they both slow. So, I um, don't, you know. So, give me three cards here for Leo. Green Tara. Yostri or Yoster. The actress. Bottom of the deck is Hecate. Crossroads, okay. Hoes are pathetic. <laughs> like I just be so over it. So 
So the key word is self-care for Green Tara. All right, so let's see. It says the symbols are lotus flower, the the Upala, the Upala flower, and the Vara de Mandra, Vara de Mudra, or whatever. Your affirmation is, I truly love and care for myself. So, Green Tara is one of the most predominant deities in the Tibetan Buddhism and is connected with all realms of the heart and healing. She is known for quickly easing the suffering of anyone who calls for her aid. She even supports spirits on the other side to reach enlightenment so they can become protectors. Green Tara is known as the mother of all the Buddhas and is the essence of compassion and action, which includes how we act and care for ourselves. So Green Tara arriving in your reading today is a sign that your self-care rituals and practices need to be given top priority. Often during busy or stressful times, people can get caught up in taking care of others or putting others' concerns first. This can easily become a long-term habit. When you slow down to care for yourself, you can attend to all these areas of your life more effectively. Be kind to yourself, be mindful of your needs, and give yourself time for spiritual practice and reflection. The love and compassion you give yourself shines out and is a gift to others. So your it says work with Green Tara. It says ask yourself, what do I need? Listen to your response and fulfill the need. Turn your technology off or on to do not disturb for time daily weekly daily or weekly and it says take yourself out on a date and spend some time spend some quality time with yourself i mean shit maybe this empress could be you where you're neglecting your self-care you need to change up something or i don't know i don't know but let's read yostri or yoster i think that's how you say her name The key word here is growth for Yoster or whatever. Symbols are hairs. 11, 11 is on a clock. My I am affirmation says I am worthy of love and deserve to be loved unconditionally. Period. So we have symbols are hair, hairs flowers of spring or lamb then we have affirmation is i am constantly growing into my best self yoster is the goddess of spring and is associated with the pagan sabbats of astara she is a germanic maiden goddess who is synonymous with spring symbols such as baby animals eggs and flowers she is full of energy optimism and renewal yoster is connected with the dawn and wherever she walks the earth springs to life beneath and all around her she heralds the awakening of the natural world and the increasing light of the spring season when she arrives, the sun grows in strength and so does the earth. So it says, wakey, wakey, time to shakey. <laughs> when Yoster arrives in your readings, it is perfect time. It is a perfect time to send some energy into the projects you wish to complete or rebirth into something new. You are about to experience a time where you feel revitalized and re-energized with your work in the world and your spirituality. Yoster asks, what are you going to do with all of this potential? Put your energy to use and start planting the seeds for the life you want to create. It's time to grow. So it says, work with Yoster. Meet the dawn and watch the sunrise. Spend time at an animal shelter caring for the fauna that needs aid. And try something different. Switch up your look, take a class, or make some new friends. So yeah, I feel like all this growth here, somebody is trying to trying to like stop you from growing. They're trying to come in and take something from you so they can grow and have you stuck. It's like, y'all bitches is fucking, I don't know. I, I just, I don't like these hoes. I know that much. I really don't have nothing nice to say. So we have the actress here. Authenticity is what this card means. Oh, I want to write that at. It says the symbols are hat, movie poster, and costumes. Your affirmation is I remember who I am. This actress is not just any actress. She is an A-list star who has great screens around the world with her performances. Her lavish lifestyle is coveted by many as, as are her many awards, beautiful home, and picture-perfect life. The actress can adapt to many different roles and she has learned to embody many different archetypes in her work. The work of the actress reflects true stories of love and loss and outstanding fantasy performances. 
However, when the filming stops and the crowds have gone home, she is still a human, a soul on her journey towards authenticity and a reminder that we that what we see on screen is not always real. These people here think that you live like that you need to share your shit. Like and if you don't share it, they're going to take it from you. Like they feel like you should be sharing something with them. Or especially this King of Swords over, over here with they hurt heartbroken motherfucking ass. They feel like you shouldn't have something. They feel like they should have it. It's time to remember who you are deep within yourself and show that to the world. Authenticity is not just something that you find once and then once and then your work is done. The small decisions you make each day bring you closer to who you are. Anything you do that feels right in your heart space is a good indication of authenticity. You will change and grow over time and you may find that you shed old roles and personas as, as time goes on, which is to be expected. This archetype is a favorable sign for those who take part in any performance art. Keep sharing your art with the world. So it says work with the actress. Go to a live local theater show and support those who are in the creative arts. Find characters in your favorite books, movies, and TV shows that you identify with and journal about how they show authentic aspects of who you are. And tell the story of your life, even if it's only to yourself, and acknowledge what has made you, you. There could be some things coming up within you that's promoting growth. This twin flame relationship here is promoting growth. You're healing. You're no longer tolerating abusive relationships. You've healed or whatever, or you are currently healing. So whatever this twin flame relationship is teaching you right now, especially if you're in union, because I'm going through it. I'm in union with my twin. You need to stick with it. Okay, you're shedding old layers and you're being reborn again, you know? So just don't let whatever this is get in your way. Like, it's just, it ain't nobody on shit and you know it. These damn hoes, they're blocked from your life, good. Or, I don't know, are they? Yeah, seven of wands, I mean, you don't got time for this karmic ass relationship that they in. I don't know what they, they keep on, they both keep on trying to siphon from your energy. That's crazy. Can't stand no fake flexing ass in real life as broke ass hoes that need you for everything but then want to shit on you later and act like they they's trying to stunt with your energy or stunt with your shit. Bitch, please. That's why they ass block right now. So and going through whatever the fuck else they going through. Court shit, legal issues, whatever the fuck this is. So this was your reading, Leo. I hope this reading gave you lots of clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.